Today, we're gonna compare the iPhone 11 versus the Huawei P30. Right off the screen, I can tell that it's much wider on 11, so it's nice to include like a buddy, but I wouldn't say like whole group. For resolution wise, you can go up to 4K 60 on the iPhone, whereas on the Huawei, up to 1080. But taking a look at the HDR, definitely it's kind of wonky on the iPhone. If I have my face in there, the, the background's completely washed out and the building is too. Whereas on the Huawei, definitely you can see that building back there. But if I take my face out, it looks completely fine. So I don't know, man. Huawei looks like it's winning on this part. So this is the front facing low light test and I'm just in the middle of the street in the city. Really basic street lighting. So let's move on to the next section. So talking about the UI really quickly, I do like the iPhone much better because I can easily one hand everything. So get to my um, options there, zoom in, zoom out. So I don't really need to move around other than my thumb. Now moving to the Huawei, I gotta say it is harder to get to everything. Switching to the modes is easy, but if I want to reach up there to get to my different other options, much harder to reach and with the focal lengths too. So for usability, definitely I gotta go for the iPhone, but the pro is that on a Huawei you get a lot of options. So if you love having different options, just go with the Huawei. Starting off with the portrait mode, I gotta say the 11 actually looks nice in terms of the skin tone, but on a P30, my skin looks really pale. In portrait mode, I do like how the background is much more blurrier on the 11 than the P30. Now that the iPhone 11 has the ultra wide angle lens, it's nice to see that how consistent the colors are. When you're hopping from ultra wide to regular wide, the colors look the same. Whereas on the P30, the ultra wide can be blue, it can be green, especially at night, you will see a lot of that. But the P30 does have a telephoto lens, so obviously when you're zooming in, those pictures will be much more clear and sharper than the iPhone 11, where obviously the iPhone 11 looks much more digitalized, unless you are zooming in 30 times on the P30. The iPhone 11 still has that well-known flat look, whereas on the Huawei, it's much more contrasty, so I feel like a lot of people would like that straight out of the camera. For HDR, I'm leaning towards the iPhone 11 just because I can see more in the shadows. I can see a lot more detail versus the Huawei P30. Since it's more contrastier, the shadows is darker. But in some cases, they both look really similar. The iPhone 11 can finally take portrait light mode pictures on things and not just people. But I gotta say, I still like the experience on a P30 much better just because it has telephoto lens for one and two. It's just faster to take the portrait picture because on iPhone 11, it would tell me to get closer, the subject's too far, or it just needs more light. So on a P30, I just point, shoot, and the effect just works. For nighttime, it's half-half. The 11 definitely comes out better in terms of color, but when it's really dark, you really need a light source to activate portrait mode. For low light photography, I would stay away from ultra wide angle just because it doesn't let in enough light to get a good picture. But that is where night mode comes in. Only for the P30 though, because the P30 you can actually use night mode on all its lenses, including the telephoto lens. Whereas on iPhone 11, it's only activated on the main lens. So shooting on a P30, there's a lot of pictures that are coming out as a green hue, which is something I don't like on the P30. Now the whole night mode experience or the nighttime experience for the Huawei P30, the main camera is already so good that sometimes it's night mode makes the picture looks even worse. So for me, for the P30, I'm just going to stick with the main camera lens just because it does so good already. Now moving on to video, the iPhone 11 wins hands down. In terms of stabilization in 4K24, 4K30, even 4K60, the stabilization in the ultra wide angle lens and the regular main lens, iPhone wins hands down. Even with the HDR, if you look at the building in the background, it's nicely exposed on 11, whereas on a P30, it looks like it's about to be clipped or overexposed. The only area where the P30 wins is having the telephoto lens to zoom in to get those closer shots, like when you're in a concert or something. I know it's unfair, but it is what it is. So that is my comparison between the iPhone 11 and the Huawei P30. Let me know which one you guys think is better. Follow me on Instagram, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.